Teamwork is dream! Cloud time! The birds come! Shimmer! What am I You can't help me! everyone, and welcome to our channel, the Super Marin Bros. I'm Arihead, and together with my brother Enigua, we like to talk about the games we love. Today, we want to cover one of our favorite games, Genshin Impact. We've been playing Genshin Impact since launch, and it's been quite the journey for us. And we are excited to share our thoughts and opinions about the game. After a year of witnessing all the wonderful, interesting, and complex teams you can build in Genshin Impact, we found that many players have a hard time building a synergetic and viable team. Hopefully our series, Comp Mastery, can lead players towards the right direction. The first comp we will cover is the Reverse Melt Comp. Reverse Melt is the elemental reaction that occurs when Cryo is used on anything inflicted with Pyro. Just like Reverse Vape, Reverse Melt reactions get a 1.5 times increase in damage. What do you need in a Reverse Melt team? The two main components of a Reverse Melt team are a Cryo Damage Dealer and a Pyro Applicator. The other characters usually deal decent damage themselves and together provide a lot of damage amplification and crowd control. Quick disclaimer, since Alloy hasn't been released for the majority of players, we will not be covering her until she is fully available and receives extensive testing. We will cover Alloy in a separate video, so stay tuned for more. Now, let's talk about who are the Reverse Melters. The first thing you need to keep in mind is that there are three kinds of Reverse Melters. Off-Fielders, Quick Swappers, and On-Fielders. Off-Fielders and Quick Swappers can be used in most teams, but On-Fielders will require off-field pyro application. We will be ranking the Reverse Melters in terms of overall effectiveness. Please note that this is only our opinion. Feel free to share with us your thoughts in the comments below. At the bottom of the list we have Chi Chi and Diona, who have the lowest damage output among the Reverse Melters. It comes as no surprise that Chi Chi is an absolute failure as a Reverse Melter. Mihoyo wanted to build a healer and that's all they designed her for. That being said, Chi Chi can deal a lot of damage on her burst. The problem is Chi Chi's burst costs 80 energy, so she requires a battery which mitigates her team's potential DPS. Diona, on the other hand, is very self-sufficient and doesn't require a battery. Her skill multipliers are average and her burst multiplier is quite low. However, at C6, Diona provides 200 additional EM to her entire team, including herself. With the stringless, she can hit surprisingly hard, so don't rule out Diona if you have her at C6. Kea is the premier free-to-play choice as far as reverse melters go. Kea's skill can deal great damage, but his burst is plagued by its internal cooldown, so don't expect much DPS from him. You might be asking yourself, why is Eula here? Isn't she a physical DPS? Her skill and burst actually deal a decent amount of cryo damage, not to mention her burst deals additional physical damage. The only thing preventing her from being great in this comp is her 80 energy burst cost and need for a battery. Just like Eula, Ayaka's burst costs 80 energy. However, her skill is much stronger, generates more particles than Eula, and her burst uptime can be remedied somewhat with the Aminoma Kageuchi and high ER investment. The problem with Ayaka is that she can't reverse melt consistently with her burst, as it applies too much cryo. Chong Yun is a very consistent reverse melter and deals very high damage with his comfy 40 energy cost burst. Additionally, Chong Yun infuses melee characters in his team with cryo, which allows someone like Rosaria to melt with her charge attack. His burst also deals great damage, as all its hits can melt. All things considered, Chang Yun is an excellent choice for reverse melt teams and gets even better at C6. Rosaria is the second best reverse melter in the game. Her damage multipliers on her skill are great. Her burst, however, deals insane damage when all of its hits melt. Rosaria gets a lot better at C2, which increases her burst duration by 4 seconds. 
as well as C4 and C5 which improves her energy gain and burst damage respectively. The best part? Most of her damage is dealt off-field and she boosts her entire team's crit rate. She is in fact one of the strongest AoE off-field 4-star DPS options available. The highly regarded best main DPS in the game, Ganyu, is usually used in a freeze team comp. But did you know her melt build has a higher damage ceiling over shorter periods than her freeze build? She can deal ludicrous amounts of AoE damage with her aimed shots. Even her skill deals significant damage. The issue with reverse melt Ganyu is that she usually needs to have a shielder in her team and often can't use her burst because her burst can prevent her from melting with her aimed shot. Also, her lack of consistent sustained damage can be troublesome. Her reverse melt comp is expensive, harder to use than the freeze comp and steals characters you might want to use in other teams. That being said, if you want to try something different and love to see big numbers, then reverse melt Ganyu might be the thing you're looking for. And here's our complete list of reverse melters. Now every reverse melt team requires a pyro applicator. Here are the best pyro applicators you can use. Xiangling is one of the best pyro applicators as she deals very high damage and her bursts last for a long duration. At C4, her burst lasts a whopping 14 seconds and can even outdamage the reverse melter at high investment. Xiangling is also free and her best in slot weapon, the catch, is also completely free to play. Kazuha is an excellent applicator and enabler all-in-one. He has an interesting mechanic on the second hit of his skill and his burst, where he will swirl whatever element is infused on him. As Bennett is used in reverse melt comps, you can use his burst to infuse Kazuha with Pyro, so he can swirl both Cryo and Pyro with his skill simultaneously. Moreover, his burst is a consistent source of Pyro application and can sustain characters such as Rosaria and Ganyu. Klee is one of the best pyro applicators. She deals great AoE damage and applies pyro extremely reliably. Additionally, her Ascension 4 allows her to supply energy to her allies. Unlike Kazuha and Xiangling, Klee is forced to play on field to apply pyro. This means that unless Klee is C2 and is supporting an extremely heavily invested Ganyu, she should always be used as an on field enabler. We won't get into detail regarding other pyro applicators as these three are significantly better than the ones below. Most notably, Xiangling is free, so it's hard to justify using any of the other characters lower in this list. However, if you have already invested in some pyro characters, feel free to use them in place of any of the aforementioned pyro applicators, although you should not expect to yield the same results as you would with the S tier pyro applicators. And here's our complete list of pyro applicators. Finally, we'll go through the best supports you can use in a reverse melt comp. Bennett is the most important support in this comp and should always be used unless you don't have him or need him in another team. He provides an insane amount of attack and healing to his entire team. Furthermore, Bennett is a good battery for pyro applicators like Xiang Ling. As I mentioned earlier, Kazuha is both an applicator and an enabler. He's a fantastic choice on all reverse melt comps. The Geo Archon is another strong support option. By using a skill, he creates an overpowered shield, shreds elemental resistance, and provides a 4-piece tenacity of the Melilith attack buff. Zhongli's skill boosts your team's damage indiscriminately. This means everyone in this team receives the same benefits. Keep in mind that these buffs are only present for as long as his shield is active. Sucrose is an excellent choice for your team's animal support slot in reverse melt comps. She's one of the best options as she provides CC to group enemies and elemental mastery for the entire team. Sucrose's elemental mastery buff is useful because it can significantly buff your reverse melter's damage. Venti's use in a reverse melt comp is limited. His burst sends most opponents at a height where Shang Ling and Rosaria's burst can whiff their ticks. Furthermore, he can't buff his team's elemental mastery or damage bonus, unlike Sucrose and Kazuha respectively. He does have some viable comps, however, such as Amber, Ganyu, Venti, and Bennett. Keep in mind that Amber would require C6 and either Venti or Amber would need a highly refined Elegy of the End to justify using this comp. Diona's viability as a reverse melter is limited. 
Her support capabilities, however, are exceptional, especially at C6. She is a cryo battery that can heal her team, provide a shield, and a 200 EM buff to her entire team at C6. If Diona is not C6, then using her could mitigate your team's potential DPS. If you feel the need to use a cryo battery, then consider increasing your reverse melter's energy recharge or utilizing Favonius funneling. Now for some honorable mentions. At C4, Yanfei becomes a viable support. Her C4 allows her to provide a strong shield. Furthermore, Yanfei being a Pyro Catalyst user can grant both Pyro Resonance and Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. Most notably, she is an alternative to Zhongli and Ganyu's reverse melt comps, as it is hard to use melt Ganyu without shield support. Albedo is another option worth mentioning. His passive talent allows him to provide 125 additional EM to his entire party. He works even better with Zhongli, as he helps to provide Geo Resonance for his team. It also goes without saying that Jean and Sayu will always perform well in a reverse melt comp, as they both provide VV Shred and Healing. The Reverse Melt Comp is only one of the many comps you can build in Genshin Impact. If you've made it this far into the video, then you are probably interested in building a Reverse Melt Comp. Here are some sample teams you can use. The Genshin metagame, with all its intricacies, can be hard to grasp. Hopefully our videos can help make it a little easier to understand. Our next video will be a showcase of various reverse mob teams. Here's a sneak peek at what to expect. Teamwork is dreamwork! What a lucky day! We'd like to thank everyone who helped us make this video. If you found the information in this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video.